Okay, we're gonna go live in three, two. We're good. Good afternoon and welcome to our assembly. Today we have a very special assembly planned for you. Before we start, I would like to begin by talking to you a little bit about the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance is something that we say every Friday at assemblies. And sometimes it seems to me that maybe we don't understand all of the words. And the words in the Pledge of Allegiance are very important. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that today, and then Kalia will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So when we look at it, it says the Pledge of Allegiance. The first word is, I pledge allegiance. So what does the word pledge mean? Well, a pledge is like a promise. So when we say, I pledge allegiance, allegiance means to be loyal. So when you say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, you are saying that you promise to always be loyal to your country. Then it said, and to the republic for which it stands. Republic is another important word in the Pledge of Allegiance. Republic means our country is a republic, and that is a country where people get to vote, your parents vote, and we vote for the leaders who make the laws that govern our country. So it is very important to know that our country is a republic. And then it says, one nation under God, indivisible. So indivisible means that our country cannot be divided. There are 50 states, they are all part of the United States, but they can't go off on their own and say, I want to be my own country. And the last part says, with liberty and justice for all, which is one of the most important parts, and that means that every person in the United States has the same freedom and is treated fairly as everyone else. And now I would like to invite Kalia up, and I would like all of you in your classrooms to stand. Please salute the flag and show respect for this country that we're all so fortunate to live in. Kalia. Assembly stand. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Kalia. And now I would like to introduce our character parade, led by our first grade teachers and our reading specialist, Mrs. Gamber. So let's welcome our first graders. They were actually letters. 
And those letters actually made sounds. And those sounds put together made words. And the magic happened. You turned into readers. And at that point now, you're thinking, oh, all the books I read. If I was in kindergarten and I read a book, I would say, oh my gosh, I'm so curious to hear what happens with the three billy goats and the troll. And first grade, when you read Chrysanthemum, you were probably saying, oh, it's so exciting. I feel so bad for her. But then in the end, when you found out that Chrysanthemum's music teacher, Mrs. Twinkle, named her baby Chrysanthemum, you went, yes. And even in second grade, when they read Mercy Watson, they were probably that crazy pig. She has so many crazy adventures, but I know there's always buttered toast to come. And third graders read a book called Dunneman's Word Jar. And when they read that book, they learned all about the crazy things that Dunneman had to do with his words. And in the end, Dunneman did some amazing things. And our fourth graders this summer, they read a book about something called about fourth grade. Oh my goodness, and the boy in that book, his name is Peter Thatcher. He had a little brother who was always so annoying. And in the end, something magical happened. Now, boys and girls, all of the things you do to grow as a reader are part of who you are. Just imagine for one minute, there were no books, no reading workshop, no read alouds, no books on your shelf at home, no classroom library with books. Can you imagine what that would feel like not to have a book to read? Well, boys and girls in the audience, this is why today we're celebrating books. Because books are not just something that you look at, they become your friends. They become your family. They became a, become a comfort that makes you feel good. So for those of you in the audience that are watching us, we want to celebrate because books and characters are our friends, and we would, we would have nothing without them. Having no books is like having an unsharpened pencil. And I don't want an unsharpened pencil. I want books, and I want sharpened pencils. So audience, you are going to now learn about some amazing characters that we, some of us know, and some of us haven't heard of. But the exciting part is, when you hear the first graders, you might run out to the bookstore, or the library, or even Amazon and say, Mom, there was a book one of the first graders spoke about that I would really like to read. So first graders, are you ready to share the love of reading that you have? I'm going to start with Brian. So Brian, remember your papers are under your chair. When it's your turn, you're going to grab your paper. Are right, you ready, Brian? You can take your mask down if you want. Let's talk about what you mask down. I'm the character David from the book No David. I chose this character because he is silly. He apologizes to his mom when he makes a mistake. Thank you, David. I'm glad he's not in no David in my classroom.
never got upset. I like the idea of that.
great job. And you know what? You better get back to your seat quick, because guess who's coming? A dog. Biscuit. But Biscuit is a sweet dog. Biscuit would never chase cats, right?
on this character because he is brave and he takes no time to you've enjoyed our character parade. Thank you. So I want to give a big round of applause to our first graders. You are amazing. I'm so proud. Also want to thank our wonderful first grade teachers, Mrs. Roman and Mrs. Janet. You did such a fantastic job. It's amazing. And boys and girls, you are watching from your Classrooms, I really hope that you have enjoyed this wonderful assembly and that you have learned not only about the books and the characters, but how important it is to be able to share your love of books. And I hope that over this weekend, you will try to read at least one new book and you will really think about the characters. That's such an important message. And thank you again, first graders, for sharing this with all of us today. Have a great weekend. Can I also say that I really like everything you said and the teacher said, but I really like the fact that we can hear them well, we can understand every word, they can see it every word. It is so well done. I'm so proud of it.